Hello, welcome to another English lesson with Miss Riska. Today we will be doing reading lesson, and the language focus is adjectives. Now, first of all, open your textbook, page eight. Page eight. And you will see this page. There are two sets of words that you need to know for today's vocabulary. In the first box, we have unpopular, bad, new, cheap, horrible, boring, fast, big. And in the second box is from the words in the text with the blue color. First one is nice, old, slow, good, expensive, small, popular, interesting. So what is adjective? Adjective is a describing word. An adjective is a word that describes a noun or pronoun such as person, place, thing, or idea. An adjective can tell the color, size, shape, taste, order, texture, sound, number, and weather. Let's look at the first box. Color. We have black, blue, coral, green, pink. In the size column, we have big, huge, large, little, short. In the shape column, we have boxy, oval, round, square, triangular, and you can read the rest of the column by yourself. Okay, done. Let's move to the next slide. Now, let's look at some examples. The first one. The house is big. The word big describes the size of the house. Second example, the lemon is sour. The word sour describes the taste of the lemon. Very easy, right? Remember the two boxes that you have read in the earlier slide? Yes, they are also adjective. Now, let's read together. Send us your photos. What have you got in your pocket? Paul said, I've got money. A pen, my ID card for school. That photo isn't very nice. And my mobile phone, it's old and slow now. And it hasn't got a good camera. I want a new mobile, but they are expensive. Ben said, I've got books, one or two old video games, and these mini speakers. They are small, but they are really good. And I've got a photo of my cousins in Australia. They've got a pet parrot. His name's Sinbad, and he's really popular with my cousin's friends. We haven't got a pet. Maria said, I've 
got my books for school, my mobile, and I've got this present for my dad. He hasn't got this book. It's about cooking, and it's very interesting. If you like cooking, so there are three children here that said different things that they have in their pocket, on their desk, and in their bag. Now that you have read the text and you already know the meaning of these words, I want you to match the words with their opposite meaning. You can complete the exercise in the Google form later. That's all for today. Bye-bye!